some kind of Dragon Ball locator. Which means... Which means... Go, Snapper! is the uh, what I call the um I think this episode was a massive challenge for us too because we got to the end of the Zarbon part and we were like oh shit okay so now Vegeta he heads off he takes Dragon Ball he heads off bumps into Gohan Gohan gets stopped uh then the, 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 the Ginyu Force also it, it, dude this is this is like a setup episode essentially now this is the one where Lanny destroys his voice now this is a joke I wrote now, this was my pitch. Kaiser edited, and Lanny knocked it out of the park. Specifically, the impotent ray, the scream bit, is a, probably one of my favorite jokes we've ever done in the show because it is a perfect example of all three of us working together. Wow, you really took care of that guy. Yeah, didn't even know I could pull it off. Mm -hmm. But you know what sayings? We get stronger every time we almost die. Well, that seems incredibly unfair mm. so um you seem like a busy man so oh yeah killing people and i'm about to become immortal <laughs> well we don't want to keep you so i guess we'll be seeing you yep i still got a lot to take care of and i oh <laughs> oh oh oh, oh, oh that's right uh -huh. oh you oh you almost got me you almost got me you almost got me you almost got me i will give you that but no yeah but now now bend your knee to me <laughs> Like, Krillin's so good at being a chill bud that he almost, almost got Vegeta to forget why he was there. <laughs> oh, I love Krillin. Come minute, nice try. Give me the Dragon Ball. Oh, You know, I could kill both of you right now, but after killing Zarbon and getting this last Dragon Ball, I'm mm. in a good mood. Yeah? I mean, a really good mood. God damn, Just man. Just remember this. Next time you see me, I will be immortal. Not that you stood a chance to begin with. I'm just... Saiyan. Waka waka! So, uh, episode 18 is pretty popular. A lot of people like a lot of the jokes in this. I still think episode 33 is the best episode. Even though we were kind of out of Zarbon now, we were, like, ready to make this a challenge. We kind of had that flow going at this point. I do remember. Once again, Lanny puts it on his back and gets it over the finish line. And, uh, we're gonna get to the I need an adult joke. Which, uh, you know. Some people find funny. Well, congratulations. You've single-handedly doomed us all. I didn't see you do anything. What exactly did you expect me to do? Well, I don't know. Maybe you could have bitched at him. How about that? That's all you appear to be good for these days. Huh? Used your... See, Lanny's audio... Uh, Lanny, I think, got a new microphone around this point as well. Uh, for this episode, episode 18, Lanny upgraded his recording setup. So now all of our audio is pretty much on par. My mic is still not good enough. My recording setup got better towards the end of the season. Bitch foo on him? Bulma, the mistress of bitching, that's what they should call you. Don't stop me now, I'm having such a good time. I'm holding this ball. Don't, Don't stop, stop me, me now. now! What the? That's Vegeta. Uh, I love that, by the way, that's great. Um, I know. If I just hide here and lower my power levels, he shouldn't find me. Okay, what the hell is going on? I know I just sent something down there. Good. Now just go on and... Hey! Show yourself before I turn this place into a barren wasteland. So basically the same, only on fire. Crab baskets. Three, two, First crab baskets. One. Hi. Um, hello. Yeah, Kaiser, I think Kaiser came up with crap baskets. Oh, well, if it isn't Mo Howard. How Get him, Vegeta! Space Hulu. Figures. So mm. what are you doing here? Oh, you know. I can't believe space has Hulu and Canada doesn't even have it. God damn. Oh, just flying around. Flying around. Flying around. around. Thwarting my plans. Thwarting your, plans? your plans? Are you? No. Good, because that'd be bad. How bad? I'd have to kill you. That's bad. Indeed. Stupid looking watch you got there. Yes, it tells time. And nothing else. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what a watch does. Does. Dumbass. Idiot. Idiot. Oh, uh, can I help you? No. But maybe I can help you. Uh, so creepy. I need an adult. I am an adult. Whoa, right in the gut! By the way, I only hit you because I have pent up aggression against your father. Take that. <laughs> don't stop me now. I don't wanna stop it. Oh. Seriously, five ancient sages of bitchdom all gathered together one day on the peaks of Mount Well, they just gathered! Claim your birth. 
and a hundred years later, when all the bitch stars had aligned, you were bored and made everybody's life around you a living hell because you are such a bitch! <sighs> you done? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Good. No! Guys! No own count because you guys, he wasn't wrong. I think we should find a new location. Krillin wasn't right, but Krillin wasn't wrong. And that's that's what's important. Guys! Go on! You guys, I think we should find a new location. Why? What's wrong with this place? Because we have ten minutes before Vegeta finds out that I just stole this. <laughs> Here it comes. So again, I remember, I think that we wrote this joke a lot. I forget how this joke came about. But it was the, like, we were watching the footage and just like, dude, he is, like, just, I've never seen Vegeta that pissed off. Ever. To this point, I've never seen him that angry. Even when Frieza shows up, he's not that angry. The, he's the most angry in this scene, where he's literally got outsmarted by a child. And that reality is, oh, this is One Piece levels are set up for a joke payoff. Shit, thank you so much. And then Nappa just appears. Oh, shit. That should be the first time Ghost Nappa appeared. Right there. That's, this is, because of the two other appearances of Nappa, I kind of wish we hadn't done those at all. I wish he only showed up here. Because that in this scene, it implies that Nappa only shows up when his sanity is breaking. See, that would have been better writing, yeah. See, I'm Jarvis. We have the power of hindsight, though. That's why when everybody sits there and goes, oh, I could write a show like that. I'm like, oh, cool. Could you do it in the middle of it and know where the future takes you? Or, or are you like most wrestling fans and just you have the power of uh, hindsight without any realization that that's why you see shit that way? It's easy to think you understand everything after it's out. <laughs> Anyways, here it comes. comes together. Took some time, effort, and lots of bodies, but now it's mine. Immortality is my bitch. bitch! Now, it should be right here. Right here. Where the hell is it? Couldn't have gone anywhere. All right. I'm going to close my eyes. You see it a little while? I'm going to close my eyes. All right, all right. I'm going to, I'm going to close my eyes. Like just so. <laughs> when I open them up, it's going to be right here. It's not, it's not here. Why isn't it here? I don't get it. Who could have... Kid, but how could he have found it? He would have. Wait, that watch. That watch wasn't a watch at all. It was some kind of Dragon Ball locator. Which means. Which means. Pee pee butt sex vagina! He took the Dragon Ball. So you see, you can hear that break. You hear that? That little, ah! that's where, that is where he actually heard his voice. Like just, ah! he, 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 this is the equivalent of he was going so fucking fast that he literally hit a bump. Like it's why this is, when I always talk about how good Nick is, it's just, I look at this scene, I'm just like, he's on another level from us at this point. Uh, really? Do you hear that? I feel that. Okay, so we realized we couldn't get Lanny to record another scream. I think he talked about this. So we had to make sure all of these bits we were cutting to were over by the end of the, what we decided for of that scream to use. What the devil is that noise? Ah, time for Twitter a space. sports drink. Huh? What the heck is that? Purgatory. Hell. Denise? Denise, do you hear that? So I remember the writer's room were like, okay, we're going to do this. And the rage, it affects everybody. Who do we cut to? Well, we got to cut to the guy, everyone reacting. We got to cut to uh, Frieza. We should cut to Goku on his way. And who else? You know what? Let's play with it. Wait, okay, so we do, okay, so we do nearby, on the other side of the planet, in space, in another dimension, and in the future. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, God, is that my wife? Please Leave me alone. alone! You already took the kids! What more do you want? <laughs> there it comes. See, All also... Right, okay, so, this is a... I don't know if, I, if, if I'm remembering this correctly. Okay, so, now, this is where we first hear Kaiser's trunks. Now, admittedly, Kaiser was trying to not play trunks at this point. Anytime we would talk about casting in Season 3, he'd be like, I don't know if I should play trunks. 
I don't know if I should play trunks. I don't know if I'm good enough to play trunks. You know, I'm just not. I don't know about that. I I I I don't know if I should play trunks. Maybe we should find a really good actor. You know, and we're just like, um, you should play trunks, dude. You do a really good trunks. I mean, like, do I though? Yes. Me and Lanny are sitting there looking at Scott, going, "Dude, your trunks is great." So we literally, and in, in, in a lot of ways, this joke. I was like, oh, why don't we, we cut to, like, Trunks? And you're going to have to play him, man. Ah, oh, gosh darn. How about that? <laughs> Low-key, secretly, me and Lanny wrote this joke. And kind of when we added the Trunks, but we're like, fuck, yes. Now he gets to play Trunks. And now he can see everyone res respond well to his Trunks like we knew everyone would. And he can stop trying to hand the character off to somebody else. <laughs> oh, it's not, I don't get the only credit. Lanny also. Lanny also was part of that. It was... <laughs> clever, it was I'm, I'm a clever little minx. I am a clever little minx, I am. All right, Mom. Once that time machine is done, I... Imagine hearing this and, 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 and then he goes, Yeah, I recorded this. I'm not good enough. What are you talking about? <laughs> I can go back into the past to save Goku. Like, this is the first time he recorded it. And he's like, ah, it's not that good. What are you talking about? And my father. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy? All right. I don't think Vegeta will find us here. I need to get you to Guru's. What? Why? So the old man can touch you and pull things out of you that you never knew you had. I need an adult? I am, I am an adult. Oh, no. No, no, no. See, I like Guru's I am an adult line, but I like Krillin's I am an adult. Because <laughs> I love Krillin. He's my favorite character in the show. By the way, if you ever wanted to know who my favorite character is, it's not even one of my characters. It's what sucks. But don't forget, I wrote the script. So I wrote a lot of Krillin's dialogue, too. No, I am not letting you abandon me here again. Those bitches on Lifetime might put up with it, but not me. Both not me. Right. You have been very helpful and Absolutely. very patient with us. So mm -hmm. in return, we're letting you watch the Dragon Ball. Bye! I will kill you both in your and the best thing is about this season, and you're hearing Corinne, who Megami33, who plays Bulma in our show, and Chiaotzu. Every time we cut back to her, the acting is better and better. And be it's almost like her talent increase between episode one and episode two of Helsing Ultimate Abridged is so staggering. It might be one of the biggest quality jumps for a performance I've ever seen. As soon as the Ginyu Force arrives, all of my problems will officially be over. Soon, immortality will be mine, and the entire universe will be under my foot. I wonder what I should do first. I guess I should start with what I won't do Bindu. when I become immortal. Die. This is, I'll say this, and I mean this as a compliment. Martin sounds like Stewie. I mean that. Martin sounds like Stewie. I know what I'm not going to do. Die. Mm. Die. <laughs> Lord Frieza, the Ginyu Force is scheduled to arrive in five minutes. Thank you, Asai. Also, after rising concerns with our personnel exploding, Love we em. decided to form a union. Adorable. Ah! Oh, first thing I'm going to do is go up to Cooler and slap him right in his smug prick face. Ah, the Cooler jokes. Cooler was in Bardock. I just love that we, we teased Bar Cooler. Because in truth, Cooler is a concept that should have been in the show. As, so, as far as I'm concerned, the idea of Frieza having a whole family line is awesome. And I just want more of that. Hey, Krillin! That's it! We're going to make it! We're finally going to <laughs> die! We that was are a cool going fact. to die! Here we go! Here we go! Krillin, this what is that? Pure rage, Gohan. Pure rage. What do we do? Run, Gohan! Run as fast as you can! I... Do as I say, bribe the Heavenly Buddha! What? Just go! The scene is all Here, Lanny. Sir, we have another oh, traveler yet. from Earth. Oh, tell me you didn't let him inside. Hello, Mr. Guru. Oh, oh god, god damn, damn it! Mr. Oh, god damn it! Guru, sir, my yeah. friend Krillin told me that you could help us by touching me. Do I look Catholic to you, sir? Hi, oh! They fuck it all, sir. I think he means he wants you to release his hidden potential. Yeah, that. Fine. Yeah. Stand still. It's your first time, so I'll be gentle. 
I don't know, laugh, giggling on this line because I'm fucking inappropriate like that, I guess. Now relax as I reach deep inside <laughs> you and grab hold of your essence. I need an adult. I am an adult. I wonder if we lost it. I am here for it. For what? Dragon Ball. I need that Dragon Ball. Give it to me. When you took, I need my wish. Are you okay? I think you're right, Rogue Vegeta. Shut up, Ghost of Nappa! What was that? I'm not crazy! You're crazy! Especially you, Nappa! Hey! hey. Who are you talking to? Dragon Ball! And now, now, please! please. Um, I don't really have it. No. <laughs> Now, in this scene, I this I remember pitching, okay, but after he gets told no, can his eye go red? Like his blood vessel just popped. <laughs> like a blood vessel just, that was like, that did it. That did it. No. Oh. No. Oh, oh wait. Where, that, where am I? Why are you here? Where's Nappa? Didn't you kill him? Yes, of course I did. He's dead. Forever. So, so like... He becomes friends. He like kind of forgives them for stealing from him. So our joke was in this moment. All right, what if his rage clears such a level? No, just walking with him with bloody eyes, like he's gonna murder. Them. Then ah, what? It's like almost like it was increasing, increasing, and then a horseshoe crashed back over. So he was fine. Like, huh? Where's that immense power coming from? Oh, that's probably Gohan over in the hut with the creator of the Dragon Balls. Is you know the guy who unlocked potential by putting his hand on top of your head? Oh. God, I cannot shut up when I am scared. I just love that these are both the same guy. Like, that's fun, right? Like, this is my favorite thing about this. Is these are both the same dude talking. Interesting. I'm gonna go pay him a... What do you call it? A visit? Beating, that's it. I'm gonna go pay him a beating. Ah, crap baskets. Hello? Can I... Ah, oh, good shit talking incoming, everybody. All right, chat, can we get... Yo! And oh, no, he didn't! In the chat, we need that. I help you with something? Yeah, the first thing you can do is go die. Save me the trouble. Ooh, ooh, is this really happening? Because I really hope it is. Oh, trust me, you don't want any of what I am right now. Then come on, bring all four feet of you. Or should I count your stupid hair? Pretty <laughs> Big talk coming from a bipedal slug. Big talk coming from a bipedal bitch. Oh, oh, oh I got to oh, admit, oh. you are the best challenge I've gotten out of your people yet. Well said, Koivap. This is just such a good banter because it's like, literally, he can't talk back to Guru. So he's waiting for the right excuse. And then Vegeta rolls up going like, good, I could fucking spit my fire at you. Oh, 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 oh I gotta oh, admit, oh. you are the best challenge I've gotten out of your people yet. Then again, all I have to compare you to are those villages I slaughtered. Oh, you are dead! No! Stop making out with your boyfriend. I can hear it from here. It sounds like... <laughs> Thank you, Lord Guru. I'm not here for any of you idiots anyway. I love playing Guru. <laughs> now stop making out with your boyfriend. It sounds like... <laughs> oh, no, you don't. With this power-up, I'm now as strong as you were when we fought on Earth. Congratulations. You're still weaker than the last three guys I killed. Wow. I now know what it's like to feel like Krillin. Sucks, doesn't it? Look, it doesn't matter how strong you get. Yeah, yeah, it's not great, Gohan. It's not great. It's not great being here. That kid. Besides Frieza, I'm the strongest thing on this planet. Bar none. Hey, just thought I would inform you all. I detect several high power levels coming towards the planet. What? Mm -hmm. Several high power levels? There are five of them in total. Five of them? And they're all incredibly flamboyant. Oh god, it's them! What are you talking about? I don't. Don't you understand? We're all going to die here! No! Who is it? It's... the Ginyu Force. We're here! Mites? Anyway. Here they come, boyos! It is... Ben. Introductions! Ginyu! And Fish! Cool. And together we are! Alrighty, we're okay. Oh god, I'm so sorry guys, keep doing this here, but I'm not gonna break- oh My god, okay, so that is- Raccoon is played by Gon Jing Ba, the actor who plays Android 17, as well as Jan Valentine. Um, Birder, the big blue guy, was played by Kaiser Neko. 
Uh, Jace is also played by Gong Jingba. He has, we actually cast him as Jace uh, way ahead of time because we knew he was going to be amazing. And uh, so he ended up getting Raccoon as well, which was fantastic because he crushed it. Uh, of course, Antfish, who plays Dodoria, plays Captain Ginyu. Fantastic performance. Nothing but kind things I have to say about it. I'll be ranting about that the whole time. And there's me playing Galdo at the end. An evil thing is a Whose idea was the Sentai opening? That was Kaiser's. Definitely Kaiser Neko's. Sure is Zabon in here. Yeah. Lord Frieza, thank you for this chance to serve you. And but some hate! Quite. I just love how that music plays, and that music is still used in some promos for wrestling to this day. Ding, ding, ding. And it's like a track that was also on, because I think there was some sound music pack that was shipped out to a bunch of corporations. A lot of music from, that was used in a promos for wrestling in the early 2000s were actually used for uh, Megas XLR and stuff. So it's kind of wild. So we just used that theme for him, too. Right. But before we get down to business, Jace? Yes, sir, Captain. Here you go, Lord Freezer. The new up-to-date Scatters. Good. And they have the ringtone I wanted? Yes, sir. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Glorious. Okay, so this reference, this was like brand new. The song had just come out like a couple months, like a month or so prior or something. Like, that's the thing. Like, this was way before, like, you know, Frieza's being like, brought back in Super. Now, as you have been informed, Vegeta and a few mm -hmm. other pests have taken my Dragon Balls. Whoa, 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 Vegeta? Little Veggie? What's a Dragon Ball? Rikum can't believe he had it in him. I know, right? What's a Dragon Ball? Yeah. The implication being that Vegeta's like, Well, look, it's the, it's the Ginyu Force. Oh, well, look, it's the Prince of Nobody. Get out of here, bitch. Get out of here. No monkeys allowed. I don't know. I'm just assuming the Ginyu Force were always just big leaguing them. Yes, it turns out Zarbon and Dodoria weren't enough. I've called you five here to get them back. Easy enough. Would you Not rather them you. dead or alive? Either or. Dead it, dead is. it is. Ginyu Immediate. Force, assemble! Love this. Speed of light and strength of all! The Ginyu Force shall make them fall! Lord King Cold's army's strongest force! We'll beat them all! Secure the course! If trouble meets us as we pass, we'll shove our, our fists fist right up their ass! Ginyu Force, move out! <laughs> We're dead. We are dead. All dead. All gonna die. Dead men be we. A cornucopia of pain and despair is coming our way to ensure our demise. No. We are so going to die. No. No. Slap him. Ow. Thank you. <laughs> my being was I love that joke. I love that. Just a simple joke. It was a simple joke. And he slaps the wrong guy. And he's still like, no, you didn't. You slapped the right guy. Gotcha. That's subverting expectations. The puke at once when I say this, but I need your hair. Uh. I need your hair. You need our help? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, but if we're going to be a team, we need a name. No, we don't. Oh, I know. How about Team Three Star? What? Well, we're a team, mm. and there's three of us, and the Dragon Balls have stars on them. Team Three Star. That just makes me want to kill you even more. And you're still only the second most annoying bald person I've ever had the displeasure to work with. <laughs> Team Three Star, move out! I swear to God! Okay, so this was like a trick for writing for us when we got here. was like, okay, now Vegeta's no longer trying to kill them. He's now their friend. Or their buddy and not trying to actively murder them in this scene. He does later on, but for different reasons. Vegeta, if you don't mind me asking... What are we in for? You ever watch Power Rangers? No. It's a joke. Ninja Turtles? No. Sailor Moon? No. Beetle Borgs? No. VR Troopers? No. Samurai Cyber Squad? No. Tattooed teenage alien fighters from Beverly Hills? Oh, yeah. God damn it. When that was brought up in the scripting room, I refused to believe it was real. And then I think Scott sent me the wiki, and I'm like, that, what? Come on, let's get this over with it. What the hell are mm. you two doing? Mm. We don't think we can trust you. You <laughs> still haven't pledged your allegiance to Team Three Star. What are you, dense? The Ginyu Force could be here any second, and then we're. Hi, Vegeta. Hi, Ginyu. And then we're. I, I love that. That's a... That still holds up. I still love that. Hi, Vegeta. Son of a f***ing <laughs> beast. Why the f*** does all this f***ing sh happen to me? Jace, please. Memorable. Sorry, Kitten. My scat is acting a bit shonky. A bit shonky! Are you done? Yeah. Very yeah. good. 
Now, to cut straight to the point, I want those two Dragon Balls you have there. Oh, so that's a Dragon Ball. I hate that read. Oh, that's a Dragon Ball. I think that was a redo I had to do, and it was like, I forgot the voice. <laughs> Again, it was like one session, and I'm done. And that was it. I was like, oh, can you come back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There are seven in total, if my report is correct. And the other five are... Right behind you! My god, man, you just cannot! Shut up when I'm scared, I know. I once had a crush on a little Indian boy that I thought was a girl. Please kill him. Seriously, he won't be missed. <laughs> <laughs> I love this joke still. That, that is canon. I didn't know about that. Kaiser, remember, pitched it. And it was just like, kill him. He will not be missed. It's just... Krillin trying to be a friend. He's like, no. Well... I do believe that accounts for everything. Before I take these Dragon Balls and leave my associates here to clean up, is there anything you'd like to say to me, Vegeta? As a matter of fact, there is. Look at your men. Now back to me. Uh, uh, do you remember Old Spice? Now look back at your men. Back to me. I am not your men. I'm flipping you off. Now look at the ground. Back <laughs> to good. me. Where's the Dragon Ball? It's gone. I threw it, and there is not a damn thing you can- Here you go, boss. Thank you, Berta. It's what I do. But I chucked that son of a bitch as hard as I could! Oh, you can't beat my speed. I'm the fastest in the universe. That's what she said! We're all going mm. to die anyway, so... Baldy, break the ball! What the- I punch the damn thing! <laughs> ah, my hand! Hit it harder! But I... Harder! <laughs> oh, Goldo, don't you think you should... Uh... Oh, oh, right, that thing I do. Stopping time, yeah. One sec. <laughs> what? I... What? This is such a weird part in the anime because, like, in the manga, it was he's dead really qu my like Goldo's dead real quick. In the anime, they dragged that bad boy out, and it was not to its benefit. Where did it go? See this, Vegeta? This is for all the times you used to embarrass me. Okay, so I don't I don't remember fully how the dog biscuit bit came about. I this might be one of those moments where I just shouted it out in the chat. Oh, this is great. Have a biscuit. I don't know why. Have a biscuit. I don't know why it came up. Uh, and it was, just, I think I pushed for it because it was just so fucking funny to me. The thought of like some, like the one member of the team trying to genuinely be nice to Vegeta. Vegeta just thinks he's a fucking animal and tries to throw him a treat. And just have a biscuit. Hey, Vegeta. How's it going? Oh, look, it's Guldo. You want a biscuit, boy? You want a biscuit? Do you think I'm a dog? Have a biscuit. <laughs> and now it'll be you who rolls over and plays dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, settle down. Before I take, you got dog biscuits in his pocket. Yes. It's time for everyone's favorite game. Wheel of Death. My like. See, my head cannon for all these jokes is there's like a hovering camera just slightly off screen that like blogs for them. If that's one thing we could have done differently is put it like, it seems would have been such an annoying thing to edit in constantly, but it's like for all these kind of TV jokes, it almost would have been fantastic if we had, um, you know, had this weird camera thing and sold the joke a bit better that way. So it's implied that it's there. So yeah, anyways. Now for the folks viewing at home, the rules are simple. One of my men will spin the wheel, and whoever it lands on, he kills. What mm. the? When did you have time to set this up? And is that a camera? What kind of sadistic retard watches this crap? Love this show. Love this show. All right. First contestant. Come on, Vegeta. Come on, Vegeta. Ah! Oh, respin, respin, respin. Lucky little bastard got two of them. All right. Let's give this sucker a spin. Congratulations. Congratulations! You just won a free, all-expense-paid trip to Space Australia! Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Uh, uh, right. Space Oz! my own planet. Wait, hold on. You're from Australia. Okay, so we just went right in on this. Like, for whatever reason, here's this alien. He's he's from Australia. One of the greatest uh, voiceover tropes from the early, uh, late, early, late 80s, early 90s, all of the 90s to the early 2000s. In a million dubs, eventually a character will show up who is Australian. Listen, the reason why is eventually they would hit their maximum saturation for voiceover, and then they would get one of the actors, hey, can you do an Australian accent? Sure, I'll do an Australian accent for this character. 
It happens in every fucking show. It happened in Yu-Gi-Oh! multiple times. It happened in... There we go. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So this is also one of those, but also Jace Big Australia is fucking priceless to me. So we just went all in. Oh, yeah, I'm from Australia in space. It's like, yeah, 100%. There are all the other countries in space. Mm-hmm. Australia? Spice Australia. Or more specifically, Spice Brisbane. Go Spice Broncos! So, it's like Australia... In Spice. In spice. Gotta be careful, though, Berta. Spice Dingo will eat your spice, baby. Like me sister, poor Sheila. Can we please get on with this? Oh, right. Let's have a go, then. Oh, piss off, you great yep. bloomin' pinwheel. Oh, great. That means Vegeta goes to... Yes! In your face, Vegeta! Your time is... Gotching, but... Soon, you will face the... I'm a wrestling fan, so I was sad I couldn't play the wrestler character. I really am. Gonching Ba is not a big wrestling fan, and I almost love it because, God damn it, he's perfect. He has the, oh, yeah, oh, oh, he has the intensity of a wrestler immediately. He's just, Gon's just knocking out of the park, dude. It's, it's, it's I will admit, just Gon's just such a great performer this arc. The end all, the be all, the please all, Rikuma. I swear, I don't bah. even know what's going on anymore. All right, gang, it's time for me to head off. Try not to mess up your uniforms and be back by 0500. Yes, Captain. Ciao. So, uh, I guess we're fighting the little green guy over there? Yeah, that's Goldo. Have fun with him. Any strategies? Throw dog treats at him. How'll that help? I'll find it hilarious. Well, come on, Gohan. We're strong enough to take this guy. Just keep your guard up. Mm. That's right. Keep on your guard. Mm. Don't drop it. Not even for an instant. Zap! What, a dog. what are you going on about? <laughs> you see that? Okay, so I... <laughs> My memory of this writing, of this episode was, is I was a, this was a challenging one to write. Um, I feel like we were, we were butting heads a fair amount in the writer's room. And I, when we made this joke, the biggest problem was no one's going to get this. Because at this time when we wrote this, next to no one gave a shit about JoJo. It's true. Not a lot of people cared for it. We got JoJo. We love that. That was just a taste of my power. Huh? Oh, what the hell was that? We also argued that Krillin was super strong. So I'm like, okay, if we drop a vehicle on him, he's fine. This dude's taking, like, like city-shattering blasts, and he's blocked it. Kinda. Kinda. A after this arc, he starts doing that. That was supposed to crush you. Go on. Did you see it? His power. He can... Stop time? Summon steamrollers. <laughs> yeah. You sure about that? Positive. Go for it. You fools. <laughs> <laughs> so we just cut a whole episode. What like with that when they're running at him to this, we just cut a whole episode. Bam, like that. Whole episode is cut. I mean that. There's a whole episode of Goldo like like setting up strategies, holding his breath and <gasps> running running around and setting up his strategies. They just they do it that way. I mean, I'm anyway, so we just cut it. We're just gone. Bye. Goodbye. Throw it out. We don't want it. <laughs> let's just let's get through it. Let's get to it. We wanted Goldo gone in the first episode. My psychic powers are unrivaled in all the galaxy. You stood there and mocked me. The whole world stood there and mocked me. But now you find yourselves slaves to my whim. Feel the earth fall out from under you. Your world shatter. As I am young. Why can't I feel my everything? Oh. oh. <laughs> this is the end of the road. The end for me. I... I wonder... Will I dream? <laughs> I fucking hate you. I know. 